to Newton's second law lab. In this lab, you are going to explore the relationship between mass and acceleration. If you increase the mass, acceleration decreases. If you decreases the mass, acceleration increases because acceleration is a force divided by mass. So, we are going to use this a fan cut, we are going to do four trial. We are going to use this fan cut and this fan cut is 535 grams of 0.535 kilogram. We have a sensor, sensor will be reading the motion of this car, the motion would be created by the force fan would be generating. Okay. So, we have the fan card is ready over here. The first trial we just going to use 535 gram. Of course, you have to convert it to kilogram. The second trial we are going to add 250 gram. Third trial 500 gram and final trial 750 gram. How are we going to find the acceleration? Well, we are going to find the acceleration from a spark view. First thing we are going to do, we are going to turn on the spark view. Velocity, okay, and then show, and then this is the velocity versus time gap, okay. So, we are going to put it over here, velocity versus time gap. Fan cut is now ready to move. I am going to turn it on to the maximum speed. Ready, set, go. Okay. I am going to turn it off. We are going to take the acceleration of this. Acceleration, we are going to quickly choose two point. All right. So now go here, linear fit, okay. And then the acceleration would be right here, m is equal. So m is equal, I see. I'm going to take one decimal, so 0 0.5. I'll take the absolute value. So 0 0.5. Okay, I'm going to reset it. Action. All right, um, so let us understand it, calculate, um, collect the data. Um, so, quickly we are going to find 2 point, 1, 1, 2 point, hit OK. Of course, a linear fit and then OK. The slope is uh, point 0.3. So, slope is point 0.3 this time. All right, excellent. Ready, set, go. Okay. Linear fit. Okay. So, take a look at the acceleration. I do not see it yet. So, let us see. Acceleration is 0.26. So, last time is 0.3, now 0.26. Action. acceleration should be the minimum. So, acceleration is 0 0.2, last one is 0 0.26, now is 0 0.2. Okay, now we are going to do the math. Mass uh, in kilogram, so first one is 535, the cart plus fan and then we added 250 gram, so 5 35, 635, 735, that means 735 plus 50, so 785, 0.785, 885, 985, and then 1.035, so 1035, 1135, 1235, so 
1.285. Okay, so this is one over mass. Why this is one over mass? Because this must be one over mass. This is one over Kelvin. And this must be, of course, acceleration, meter per second is squared. So I'm gonna prove that again so that you understand why this is one over mass. So whatever slope we're gonna get, slope is y2 minus x2, or delta y over delta x. What is delta y? Meter per second is squared. And what is delta x? Of course, one over kilogram. So if you simplify, you have meter per second is squared. Multiply kilogram over one. So you can rewrite this statement, which is uh, the slope is kilogram. and then meter per second square. Kilogram meter per second square has a name, which is, of course, Newton. And Newton is the SI unit for a quantity that is called force. Okay, so our slope, the name of our slope is the force. All right, so one of our mass, 1 over 0.535 is 1.9 and then 1.3, 5, 0.3, 0 0.26 and 0 0.2. This is what we got from the lab. Okay. 1.5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2. Let's go by 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, point 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, point 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, point 5. And point 5 covers everything. All right. So point 6, point 7, point 8, point 8, comma, Point two. So this is our point. Point nine seven, comma point two six, right here, somewhere. Okay, we're done. One point three, point three, point three. All right. Done. One point nine, point five. 1.9.5 is all the way here. Okay. So this two is kind of on the top and this two kind of, this, this two is above the base speed line and this two is below the base speed line. Now we're gonna get two points from the base speed line to calculate the slope. Uh, this is, uh, this looks like a good point. You're gonna take this one. Mm. You're gonna take this one. You really wanna take this one. This is not from the table. So this is 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2, 1.3, 1.3. 1 so 1.3 comma, comma 0.3. But it's not exactly 0 0.3, it's 0 0.29.299. Okay, so this is what I have 0 0.15 divided by 1.3 minus 0 0.52. So 0 0.2. Okay. So the slope is, the name of the slope is F and slope is 0 0.2 Newton.